This video shows in simple steps the correct way to vacuum form. Vacuum forming is an easy manufacturing method used to create hollow plastic products. To put it simply, a sheet of thermoplastic is heated from above. Once malleable, meaning soft and flexible, the heat is removed. A mould is raised into the plastic from below. Finally, the air is vacuumed out from below, forcing the malleable plastic onto the mould and making the plastic take the shape of the mould. To begin, you will need a sheet of plastic, usually high impact polystyrene, a mould to vacuum form, and a vacuum forming machine. There are a number of different parts to the vacuum former. The vacuum on and off switch and reverse lever which start the vacuum and gives a short reverse burst of air to release the mould after forming. The toggle clamps which hold the plastic sheets firmly in place when heating and forming. The platen which is the platform the mould sits on. The heater and heat controls which can be pulled over the plastic sheet to heat it and the platen lift this lowers and raises the platen platform. To begin the process you must first make sure the mould is finished properly. This means all the edges are smooth and rounded and the sides are tapered, meaning angled at at least 5 degrees. This is to ensure the mould can be released from underneath the plastic after forming. Additionally, if there are any cavities in the mould, like in this example, a small hole must be drilled from the cavity to the bottom of the mould. These are called vent holes. They are used to help pull the last of the plastic sheets into corners where the original vacuum will not reach. You are now ready to vacuum form. Start by turning the machine on. You may have to flip two switches, one for the heater and one for the vacuum. Next, place the mould onto the platen and lower the mould using the platen lift. Get your plastic sheets and clamp it tightly over the mould using the toggle clamps. Make sure it's held tight and there are no gaps around the edges for any air to escape. Now pull the heater over the plastic sheet and turn the heater knobs on. You can adjust the amount of heaters and their heat to match the size and thickness of your plastic sheets. You must heat your plastic until it becomes soft and begins to sag. Heated plastic follows three steps. Firstly it will become very hot. It will then begin to wrinkle and finally it will sag. You must be careful at this point as the material will be very hot. Also you must not heat the plastic sheets too much as they may melt. The best way to check your plastic is to pull the heater back every 30 seconds and lightly tap the sheet. When it becomes very easy to press and bounces back slightly it's ready. Turn the heater off and pull back. Be very careful during this step as there can be a number of hot surfaces around. You must now raise your mould using the platen lift until it locks in place. Flip the vacuum on and off switch and watch carefully as the plastic is forced onto your mould. When the plastic has tightly covered your mould, use the reverse lever to separate the two. Give the plastic enough time to cool down as it will still be very hot. Release your moulds from the vacuum former using the toggle clamps and turn the machine off. Finally, being very careful, you can use a sharp knife and a cutting board to cut the excess plastic from your mould. Congratulations, you now have a perfect vacuum formed mould.